Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be playing Ocean Horn, Monster of the Uncharted Seeds. So this is a try before you buy type game, which is basically, you can play the game, but it's not the full game. So basically somewhat of a demo. Uh, this game is on Google Play. If you want the full game, it's going to cost you $5.50 plus tax, I think. So probably still like at least $6 at best. But we're gonna be trying it out and seeing how it is. So let's start a new game. I mean, it looked interesting, so I wanted to try it out. I mean, graphically, it looks amazing. Can't wait to see like more. water reflection the rain looks pretty good so let's see our character see if he looks amazing too reminds me a little bit of like um, like a Zelda type game for what it looks like I'm leaving tonight and I'm not coming back kid. no My daddy no Yeah, it definitely gives me like Zelda vibes. Okay, so far it looks pretty cool. Now I'm kind of curious how the gameplay is. Wake up. The time has come. Yeah, voice acting and everything. I doubt the voice acting is going to be through the whole game because normally games don't do that anymore. Just like voice act the full game. Wait, weren't you just living in the house, man? Did they kick you out? What a coincidence. You woke up just to see your necklace floating. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and see it float away. Just imagine if you were still asleep at that time. Okay, we got challenges. Oh god. This is pretty much open pad. What happens if I fall down here? Okay, I can't jump down there. Okay. Oh, it is like Zelda. <laughs> Minimask reveals secrets, so there's like a little chest down there. Oh, we, we can swim. We also have a stamina bar for the swim, too. Mine. Let's say, can you jump? Just with my coins, dude. Back off. My coins. Okay, I expect as much. It's not gonna have full voice acting. So this is his hut. Still got an enemy over here. Let's go take care of him. I don't think you can jump in this game.
Can't you just... Oh, okay. Well, I, I get why we can't jump, because we'll probably jump over the head. Oh, so there's puzzles. Okay. Oh, I can grab that. Okay. See if we can... Not how I want to throw it, damn it. No. Give it back. Alright, fine. I'll just go... Uh, hey, did you just respawn, you piece of shit? Oh, so you could do strong attacks. So we got to go around and fall. Okay, so at a certain like height, you can't like jump down. Checkpoint. So your response is something bad happens to me, saves my progress. Nice, nice, nice. Did I ever save? Do I have to push it again? Not sure. I could go down there. I could. So what's over here? jar. Ow. I say, you guys better drop some hearts. So the game does drop hearts for like restoring if you defeat enemies. I'm guessing that's a chance because that's what most games do. Ooh. Guess we gotta go up here. Oh, we gotta figure out a way up there. This is where the necklace went, so I'm guessing we have to go back somewhere. There's also a chest over there. I think I missed. Pretty neat so far. To be honest, surprisingly enough, this might surprise you guys, I have never really played a Zelda game. Like any of them at all. <laughs> Does that make me weird? Probably. More than likely. Plus, I didn't have like the systems to play Zelda anyway when I was a kid. All we had was a Sega and a Dreamcast, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> It's mine. Oh. Oh, nice. Level two adventurer. Oh, that's my level this whole time. The hell? Okay, so every time I go near it, it saves. The only place we can go is here.
Now let's go see this way. They're waiting. I've been waiting to hit somebody with a box or a barrel all day. Okay, well, you know what? I tried. Thanks, game. <laughs> So we can also push objects too. I was trying to throw it in the water to see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that, that explains it. Dude, why do you have so much strength just to throw everything on top? What's wrong with you? I feel like this is a trap. Oh, a key for me. We need to level up our stick. Say, is that timed? Apparently not. Mine. Is that a bat? Fuck you, bat. <laughs> Oh no, not puzzles. The real question is why the hell is the necklace over here? I think I can get the gist of it. Just grab one of these. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I mean, pretty straightforward, just saying. To where are those items? Because I had broke one of them. How now? Can you not there? We gotta have broke one of them over your head. Okay, I guess I do. I gotta go all the way back then. Can I take a shortcut through here? Nope. God darn it. That's what I get for being so destructive. Every time, man. Destruction just gets the best of me. I need to destroy these. Swear to God, if I go all the way over here and it respawns, we're fighting. Ah, you douche. I wasn't even messing with you. Give me back a heart. Oh, you douche. Out of my way. I would throw it, but then it'll get caught on top of a building again. So let's not do that. <laughs> How much you want to bet I go back over here and it resets everything? But it reset everything over there, so I'm guessing this is also going to be all right. I guess the longer I stand under, the more resets. Is that what I uh, missed? 
I think this will be fine too, right? It better be. I mean, this weighs more than that. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Bastards. I'm about to say it is returned to the sword and shields. Oh, okay. So now we have the sword. <laughs> okay. So the necklace just basically wanted to show us the sword and the shield. I can't push it down there. Okay. Well, sorry, dude. You gotta go into the water. Okay, let's go into our settings then. Huh, okay. I kind of like this menu a little bit. Also tells me my um, recent challenges. We also have a fishing log, so you can also fish in this game. Huh. Can I do anything with this box I just threw down? No? Okay. Can I do more damage to you guys? Come here. Don't you run. Just because I got a sword and shield now doesn't mean nothing. I two-shot you guys now. Okay, put down the shield. What the hell? Just like a son to just get a new toy and just start trying to kill everybody with a sword. Yeah, uh, ni nice job, Dad. <laughs> Give your own kid a sword and a shield. A long time ago, these islands were the mighty kingdom of Arcadia. The Age of Enlightenment led Arcadians to outstanding scientific discoveries. Engineering and magic ran deep in their blood. A foul war began as Dark Lord Mesmeroth, who had once been a promising candidate for an Archimage, led dire folk armies to a war against Arcadia. With the aid of his dark magic and the dire folk, Mesmeroth dug deep into the ground and brought to daylight something that should have stayed in the depths of the earth. Triloth, a mass of dark energy left over from the creation of the world. Black boats arrived to the gates of Arcadia, carrying the dark energy Triloth. Soon the light from the world and from the hearts of men faded. The once flourishing society disappeared After the catastrophe, three sea monsters appeared. One of them was Ocean Lord. Oh, so there's three of them, not just one. You know, it is a vile creature, born under the dark, burning light of Triloth. Although all of these monsters were powerful, only one has survived up to this day. Oh, so there were three. Now there's just so one. I got you, Gramps. I'm gonna be the very best. What you got in this chest? Master key. God damn it. Thought I was supposed to get the master sword.
Damn it, where is the master key? Yo, my guy, give me the key. Alright, I shall go look out then. Great, I'm just supposed to roam around until something happens. my bed. Never would have known that objective if I wasn't so curious. <laughs> he just stuck his hand out. He's like, boy, now I'm about to roast you. The next morning... Everyone's probably dead, too. And you slept through all of the murderings. That's real messed up, man. So we don't find this odd. Where are you going? Fight me. He knows too much. Form a perfect combo attack. All right, my guy, what's going on? God damn it, Dad! Gave me a cursed necklace. Tell about secret emblems, relics that hold the power of gods. Their purpose was to maintain the balance of the world. Or old ass man, you have a glorious voice. Is that chest closed again? I could have sworn I opened that. To unravel the mystery of ocean, you must find out what happened to the sacred emblems. Here is what I know of them. The emblem of Earth that belongs to the Owl is hidden in the Perta Desert that was once a vast and beautiful forest. Most of its beauty withered along with the Aurus, wise and fearless bird people. Bird. The emblem of ocean belongs to Gilfolk, the people living in the waters of the world. Emblem of ocean is a relic of their long past glory. Yeah, just heavy um, Zelda vibes here. Nothing, nothing different, you know. <laughs> no different vibes, you know. The emblem of sun was the pride of Arcadia. A symbol of hope and determination for our kind. I will tell you more about it later. It is time to begin your journey. Seek the secret emblem. This is the only way to get to Ocean Hall. To find out what happened to your father. He did. But one thing that I am not a huge fan of is your text not having at least a black outline. In most games, I really, really hate that. I'm guessing this is the master key. I'm going to go open your chest. What you got in that chest? Ooh, a heart piece. Now I'm level three, bitch. A pumpkin seed gun on my boat. Shit, dude. Say no more.
But yeah, I never just like normal white text just because it blends in too well with the background, so you can't really read it too much. Ah, shit, dude. Got my own whip. Let's go ahead and ride on. Do I get to actually drive it? Nope. Oh no, he could talk to me through a shell. Oh, wow. I can look around during the dialogue? What the hell? Oh yeah, that's the free version. So if you guys want to play the full game, it is basically, like I said, like $5 and... Oh, it's also bows and stuff. It's $5.50. Also, if you spin in the, or do something in a certain direction, you do a different attack. I can definitely say it's a unique, like, game, for sure. For those people who have played Zelda before, I've, I've just seen gameplay of it, and it just heavily reminds me of it. I would definitely say try this game out. Anyway, I'm going to edit it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out.